Hi, Jimmy here with Every Mountain Top. I am on top of Sugarloaf Mountain and enjoying being in the cloud, literally, rather than digitally. So, uh, anyway, today I was reading a talk by General Authority, and toward the end, he's, he bears his testimony and gives promises, saying, if you will be humble, if you will endure, if you will be righteous and follow these principles, then you'll have the blessings and strength you need to endure and overcome challenges. Well, immediately after I read that, the lie came into my mind of, well, I'm trying, but I just can't be humble. I can't do those things. I'm not righteous enough to receive those blessings. I'm not doing good enough to receive that help and strength that I need to overcome my challenges. And I hope that you recognize that that is a lie. Um, and that often what we believe we are doing and what God believes we are doing are different. If we believe, often we believe that we're not doing as good as God believes that we are doing. That we are humble, sufficiently humble and, and doing well. So I challenge you to discover what it is that God feels about you. Um, I had an experience several years ago, about 10 years ago, where I um, I had a whole list of imperfections and things that I thought I needed to fix, change, work on, whatever you want to call it. And I, it was after a general conference, and so I felt pretty pretty determined, but also that I had a huge laundry list of things to improve. So I wrote all those things down, but then I thought I need to go to the Lord and find out on what priority these things need to be worked on. Well, as I went to my knees and prayed out loud, uh, the Spirit spoke to me that what I thought I needed to work on and what God thought I needed to work on were very different. And that the thing that He was most concerned about was much further down on my list. But at the same time, knowing that and feeling that answer by the power of the Holy Ghost was a great peaceful feeling and a burden was lifted. It was a surprise to me, but it was also a great uh, assurance that God knew me better than I knew myself. So I challenge you, instead of just assuming that you're bad, horrible, terrible, and can't do it. Ask your Heavenly Father. See what He thinks. And I would guess that He thinks that you're doing better than you think you're doing yourself. Either way, whether you think you're doing better, or He does whatever, however the scales are balanced out, humility can be gained in getting on your knees and voicing aloud your prayer to your Heavenly Father. So... Keep going, keep climbing. Look up, get up, you'll reach the summit.